Derek Huff. Yes. My good man. My man. The last we spoke, you had just gotten married. You were setting out on tour yes. with Haley. Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, how is she doing? She is doing, she's doing wonderful. She's doing good. She's is she coming good. out with you in, uh, on this coming tour? We're, we're not sure just yet. We're not, we're not, we're just going to, we, we got to wait to see, you know, as far as the clearance and health and safe and all these different things. Um, but, uh, but regardless, she'll always be a part of it. You know, she was there at the beginning. She inspired a lot of it. Um, so she'll, she'll always be part of it in some way. What is the lesson that you've learned from watching, you know, your, your wife, your partner, brave it out, be tough? I mean, the lesson I suppose for me that I learned from her was, uh, was really just sort of accepting the moment, you know, accepting it. Um, kind of, you know, from her words where, you know, it is what it is. I, well, what do I got to do? You know, I, got, I just got to heal. I got to get better. There was no sort of wallowing in why or this or that. It was just like she was very just accepting of it, which was incredible to see. Just really amazing to see. Couples have to yin and yang. So, um, you know, if one is weak, the other has to be strong. Sounds like she was strong. Were you also strong or were you scared? Oh, no, no. Be. Oh, for sure. I mean, you know, in my my private moments for sure there was definitely some you know some thoughts and fears and all all the things you know um but uh but she certainly gave us all strength you know when we saw her because she just again she just handled it with such grace it was really amazing to see you know especially if, especially with what it could have could have been very closely so yeah symphony of dance is happening are these yes. the dates that you were gonna do and so this is this yeah. is yeah yeah so these are the these are make goods mostly these right? are yeah so this well first of all symphony of dance our tour that we went on last year it was really unlike anything i've experienced really the response the reaction from the audience the energy the show itself just it it was something i'm so proud of you know the music the dance the choreography the costumes everything about it i'm so proud of and so I'm really excited to go back out there and to, to fulfill these shows that we postponed, but also to add more dates. Um, and it's, uh, it, it's just, it, it, there's also a different intention going into this show, you know, because I think if anybody who's seen my shows, they know there's a lot of energy, it's a lot of fun, there's humor, um, great dancing, music, but there's also a lot of emotion, there's a lot of heart. And for this particular time right now, I think there's going to be even more of that in there, which um, I'm very excited to share with Why? everybody. Because I think just this, this right now, the circumstances, you know, of what we've just come from, and there's a different intention. There's this different, like, you know, feeling of gratitude of being on that stage, being in a space to really share um, with this amazing audience. Uh, it, it's it's really special. It's really, really special. How are you at staying in the moment, right? I mean, you, you're on the move. I'm looking at some of these dates, and I'm like, you're changing towns like four days in a row and yeah so you're taking down lighting racks and packing up trucks and moving on to the next place and then it goes up the next night sort of exhausting but also what a great privilege and honor to be able to do it yeah are you good at sort of taking it all in and loving it all you know i think that's part of what it is though is it's 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 as far as, far as like an entertainer and you know a dancer choreographer whatever it is it's like that's what we live for right is being on stage and performing and having that shared experience with the audience so even if there's a time where i'm feeling like a little tired a little sore from the night before perhaps you know as soon as i go into the meet and greets before the show and i see you know the vips and i give them hugs i'm talking with them i'm interacting with them they're like batteries honestly like it just it just fuels me up and gets me ready for the show that night because um, I know what I'm there to do. I'm there to serve, you know. I'm really there to serve. And when you're there with that intention of, like, I'm here to, like, serve this crowd, this, these people, and in this case, too, I'm there to thank them. I'm, I'm saying yeah. thank you guys so much for, like, your love, your support, all of that. Like, it's it's really a, an endless supply of energy. It's, it's um, it really is. It's a, d a different intention. What is the, what is your, f what is your favorite thing that dancing has given your body? Is it the ass? <laughs> is it the ass? The dancer's butt is it's a beautiful it's, thing. It's a beautiful thing. Right? It's a beautiful thing. It's just, <laughs> you, you, get, you get bulb, you get roundness and shelf you for longer you in get, life, you right? Get, you, get, you get sturdiness, you get, you get support. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think obliques. 
Oh, obliques. Really great obliques. The obliques. These guys. Oh, <laughs> man. Because you're, you're twisting, yeah, you're crunching, you're rotating, <laughs> you're, you're moving like, you know, you know the exercise where you do the medicine ball or whatever it is. You know, you know, you, you, instead of with a human being, you know, yeah. you're doing this, you know, so. Yeah. Russian it's deadlifts obliques. or whatever they call yeah. it. I'm yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, but, but with a human. <laughs> but with a human, right? Yeah. Lifting small. It's amazing how strong you are. Like, I'm watching you in J-Lo's music video, and you're moving her around. <laughs> You've got great moves and strong arms. Hey, man. Yeah. It's just, Has she don't, forgiven don't let this, you? Don't let this, uh, this lean body deceive you. Yeah, I got some strength. Didn't you, didn't you take some hair of hers when you were dancing? I did. There, dancing was, a, there was a time. With J-Lo? Yeah. She's, yeah. she's forgiven you because you're... She has forgiven me, yes. It says. <laughs> and hopefully it's grown back. <laughs> what is it like to work with her? Is she, uh, she's such a hard worker, I imagine. She is. You know, perfectionist. One thing I love about her is one seeing all the different sides of her. You know, when I first started working with her on World of Dance, I got to see Mama Bear, like you know, Mama J Lo. You know, be her being a mother to her children, which was beautiful. Um, but also, I, I just really admire that she just puts herself in the arena. You know, she puts herself out there, and she continues to, and and um, and that's that's not easy to do. So I'm 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 always in awe of her, you know, constant hunger because that's the thing too especially what we do being creative and life and, and performance whatever it is the the one of the most valuable asks i believe is is just is hunger really you know in anything i think that you can have all the smarts you can have all the wisdom you can have all these different things but if you don't have that hunger to keep going to keep driving to keep pursuing something to keep creating and to put yourself out there taking chances like that's that's really incredible. So if I think that part of her, I, I'm very, uh, I'm very impressed with always. Everybody has the man. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. I should do this. And then, and then there's those who actually do it. Yeah, yeah. And, right? that, and I mean, that she just took 20 really million bucks of her own, and yeah. you know, went with this huge project. This is me now. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's like, wild. It's a it, multimedia project. It's crazy, and it's funny actually, because like for this tour, I actually, I actually self-funded this tour myself. Um, wasn't quite twenty million dollars, but it's you know, yeah. it was still a price tag for sure, and it was terrifying. It was it was daunting. It's there's a lot of fear there, but at the same time, it's very exciting because it just means that I I believe in this show, and um, and I believe in what we're doing, and I believe in the the feeling I want to give you know that we're gonna give this audience. So uh, so far, it's been incredible, and I just can't wait to go out there and, and to finish it strong and uh, to continue that with a different. A different intention. Beautiful. What is the last thing you texted to J-Lo? The last thing? What are the last thing I texted? I know you guys are text buddies. I can... Yeah, we text, we text sometimes. Um, what did I text her? I hey, can't girl. Remember. I said thank you for the flowers. She sent you flowers? Yeah, yeah. She sent, she when sent... you won the Emmy? Um, no, but I will say she was very, uh, very, very kind about that. But no, it was, uh, it was, it was for her new film. It was a nice bouquet thank of flowers. Thank you for being part of thank my project. Thank you for being project. part of it, yeah. Yeah, she said, sent I'm, you flowers. Yeah, a beautiful, this delightful, beautiful smelling. Did that flowers. leave you like, oh god, I could have sent her something. She's the one that did the project. She put out the. Nah, nah, nah. nah. She good. She's good. Very <laughs> good. She's fine. She has enough. <laughs> she has enough. <laughs> just, she's all right. She's all right. She's doing fine. <laughs> um, have you seen the new documentary? I haven't seen the documentary yet. I saw a clip of it, but um, but it again, I from what I've seen from the documentary, I really love the uh, again. It's the the realness, you know, of just the process. I think that's always exciting to watch.